Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about finding the slope and the rate of change. All right, so what is slope? Slope is defined as a change in the rise over or divided by the change in the run. So I have a corny example for you. I like to exercise and I get up in the morning to exercise. And typically I'll go for a run in the morning. And so I, I, I hear the alarm bell and I lie in bed for a minute or two. But before I run, I have to rise, right? So I rise, I get up, and then I run. So rise comes before run, or rise over run. And rise is just the change in the vertical amount over the change in the horizontal amount. So the change is represented by the symbol called delta, which is a triangle. So I have the change between two points, uh, and the y, or the vertical axis, over the change between those same two points on the x-axis. So remember that when you figure out the slope, if you choose the second point, y2, first, then you also have to choose, in figuring out the change for y, you also have to use that same point, or the second point for x as well. You cannot say, and it doesn't work normally, if you say y2 minus y1, so the change in the difference between point 0.2 and point 0.1 over the change in the first point for x over the second point. So you cannot mix and match the points. If you choose one point first, that point also has to be first for the other variable. Okay, so I also like to give another example, and I'm an avid cyclist, uh, and I, last year I went to the Pyrenees to go watch the Tour de France. And it's pretty cool in the Pyrenees because they have at each kilometer will have a sign, and the sign will tell you what the slope is, what your altitude is, uh, for the next kilometer. So, for example, let's say that I'm on Alp d'Huez, well, Alp d'Huez is in the, uh, the Alps, but let's say I'm in Plateau de Bay, and it says that my ending uh, height is going to be 1,525 meters, and my starting height is going to be 1,450 meters. And then it'll tell me what my uh, what the grade is going to be for that ensuing kilometer. And you can figure this out if you do the math in your head. 1450 to 1525, that's a difference of 75 meters over one kilometer. So 75 meters over one kilometer, a thousand meters. My gradient is going to be 7.5%. Or I could say my slope is 0 0.075. So typically at 7.5%, not a problem for me. But once it gets up into 9 to 10%, then I have to know to take it a little bit easy. So these are great signs that let me know what's coming up when I'm doing the, the climbs in the Pyrenees. And sometimes the climbs are between 15 and 20 kilometers long, so it helps to know what is coming up in the next kilometer. All right, so classification of slope. Lines with positive slope move upward and to the right, it's similar to how we see in this black arrow. So if it's going up and to the right, I know the slope is positive. That means for every one unit that I move to the right, I'm going up some number of units. A negative slope means it's going downward from left to right. That means for every one unit I go to the right and the x-axis, I'm going down a certain number of units on the vertical or the y-axis. Lines with no slope are going to be horizontal. All right, so in this case, if I don't have a slope, what happens here? My y value never changes. My x value changes, but my y value never changes. So delta y is always going to be zero. Delta x will be some value, but anything divided into zero is still going to be zero. So lines with no slope are horizontal. Lines with an undefined, undefined slope are going to be vertical. And let's think about this again for a second. If I have a vertical line, I have no change in x, so my change in x is zero, over some change between two points and y, anything divided by zero is going to be undefined. It doesn't really make sense to divide something by zero. Okay, let's play match the graph. So number three, I have a horizontal line, right? So this means that the slope is going to be zero. So slope, and we say that m is equal to zero. So m is shorthand for slope. Lowercase m is uh, shorthand for slope in most cases in math. And then my next line is vertical, so I know the slope is going to be undefined. 
Then in the next, it's going up into the right, so I'm rising. It's going to be positive. And then last, it's going down to the right. It's going to be negative. Okay. Now, last part I need to talk to you about, parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have slopes which are the same. So here, shorthand, the measure of slope 1 is equal to the measure of slope 2. That tells me that the two slopes are, are going to be the same. Now, uh, I'm sorry, the two slopes are the same, that the lines are going to be parallel. Now, there's one exception to that, and that's when you have two equations for two lines that are the same. So I give you the example of y is equal to 3x plus 2, and 2y is equal to 6x plus 4. Well, we can see if we divide the second equation by 2, we end up with the same equation we have uh, for the first equation. That means they're the same line. Well, they have the same slope, but they're not parallel because they're the same line. All right, last part. Perpendicular lines have slopes which are opposite reciprocal. So there are two words, opposite and reciprocal. Opposite means that the sign is different or the opposite. And reciprocal means that the value of the slope is inverted or reversed. So now the numerator is the denominator, and the value of the denominator is the numerator. So let's take an example. If I have 7 ninths as the slope of one line, then the opposite of the line, uh, the opposite of uh, the slope of the line that's perpendicular to the slope of the line that has 7 ninths, it's going to have the opposite sign, which is going to be negative, because this is positive, and it's going to be the reciprocal. So I just flip the value upside down. So I know the slope of the line that's perpendicular to the line that has a slope of 7 ninths is going to be negative 9 sevenths. Uh, again, let's take another example. If I have negative 4 over 9, then the slope of the line that's perpendicular to a line that has a slope of negative 4 over 9 is going to be equal to the opposite sign, which is positive, and then the reciprocal, which is 9 fourths. Now, again, there is one um, exception to that rule, and that is when you have uh, vertical lines and horizontal lines. The vertical line, again, is going to be undefined. So there's no opposite reciprocal of an undefined slope. You just know that the slope of the horizontal line is going to be 0. So in this case, which is the exception, it's not the opposite reciprocal of the slope. But you just have to remember that if you have a horizontal line, the slope of the line that's perpendicular to that line is undefined. If you have a line that has a slope that's undefined, the slope of the line that's perpendicular to that line is going to be 0.